For the sign of Aquarius, hello and welcome to my channel. We'll take a look at the present time. If you're dealing with someone, how they see you, how you see them, then we'll talk about why it's happening. Just remember the roles can be switched. They see you, could be you see them. So keep that in mind. So Aquarius, the energy that I'm picking up for this reading is that There's someone that might want to return. Someone from the past and I want to come back. Or you could just um, have some type of celebration. You could be wanting to celebrate something. Um, or like I said, someone could be wanting to come back and celebrate with you. Someone could be returning. Yeah, so let's get into the reading and let's see what's going on here and find out if somebody's coming back or if you're just planning on celebrating life or celebrating some occasion. So for the present time, we got this Three of Cups and so the Seven of Cups. Now the Three of Cups, it's considered to be a card about reunions, but that's not always a romantic union. It's a reunion in the broadest sense of running back into someone or something that's been away for a long time. This is considered to be a really happy reunion. It's upbeat. It could also mean celebrating, some type of celebration, your own or someone that you care about such as celebrating a new baby, wedding, or some happy occasion. So it's with the Seven of Cups. Now the Seven of Cups is about choices. It indicates confusion and it points to disorganization because there's too much going on. So there's a need to narrow your focus. You're probably trying to do too much and doing most of it not really well. So it's about choosing a few of the important things that are on your plate and work through them one by one carefully because you could start to feel overwhelmed but just remember that you can control at least in some areas how much you're trying to take on so for the present time it could be towards the end of June it could go into July uh, we got somebody trying to come back here okay this could be a past person that you're dealing with or long lost love might come knocking at your door. This card could give two storylines, okay? So, or this could be you celebrating or your person celebrating someone that you're dealing with. Um, but someone here has a lot of options. Yeah, they, they might need to think about reevaluating their choices. Because it's causing some disorganization and confusion. So, let's get into the rest of the reading so that we can make sense of, of this. If, if this is a past person or is this a celebration and why so many options here? What's going on? So, let's take a look at it and find out. So, if you're dealing with someone, they see you as the Ace of Wands and the Eight of Wands. Now the Ace of Wands is about powerful new beginnings, very positive ones. It could be in the area of work or family, romance. And if you're having a difficult time now, just know that things are about to get better very soon. This card is about being upbeat, optimistic, and really hopeful about the future with a really good cause. So you'll be feeling energetic, positive, and if you're not now, you will be feeling that way soon. So it's also a good time to start something new with this Ace of Wands. So basically, they see you wanting a, a relationship with them. Yeah, because the Ace of Wands is about a new love. When you talk about love, it's about a new love relationship coming in. Yeah, so they could see you wanting a new beginning with, with them. 
Now the wands are about being passionate. So they also see you as very passionate about this connection. But it's with the Eight of Wands. So Eight of Wands is about a lot of things just up in the air. So you're tired and you're frustrated of waiting. But you got to be patient a while longer. You've probably done all you can do. Now decisions, they have to be made by other people. When this card appears, nothing seems to be moving ahead. So don't try to force things because it could backfire on you. Just know that sometimes our actions, they're all in the wrist. And all you can do is put your best out there and see where it lands. So you put your best out there, now you just have to wait. Yeah, because those wands, if you take a look at them, they're going upwards. And they're not coming down anytime soon. They're not even at a flat angle. They're at an upward angle. So it's about playing the waiting game here. Something's trying to happen. Now, they see you as wanting this new beginning you're very passionate about. Very, very passionate because there's all wands here. There's, there's nine wands. You're extremely passionate about this person. Extremely. And this new beginning is not happening fast enough, though. I don't know if they're long, if they're at a distance from you. Yeah. Or what's going on. But it's just, you're frustrated because it's not moving fast enough. Because you got a lot of passion for this person. So let's take a look at how you see them. <clears throat> so you see them like the Four of Swords. And you also see them like the Sun, sun card. The Four of Swords, if you can see the picture, this man, he's on his back. He put himself there. Nobody knocked him out. <laughs> he just went up to the mountaintop and he put he surrounded himself with four swords and he'll use them if somebody comes towards him because it's all about taking a break and he had, he realized that the break it may go into nighttime so it looks like he put a candle in the shoe you probably can't see it but below his foot there's a his shoe is off. His shoe is just right on the on the ground or the snow. And he's got a candle there. So he realized he needs some long time rest. Because the four of swords, it signifies a break. Could be from normal life. Could be. This could also mean that you or someone in your life, they may withdraw for a time. You could feel like they're go they ghosted you. Because this withdrawal is not permanent. Yeah, it's not permanent. It could mean illness or time in the hospital, something like that. It's a sign to give people their space. You're in need of some time and space for yourself, probably. Others could be pushing too hard for bits of time of attention. Bits and time of your attention. So don't hesitate to draw boundaries for yourself or to just say no. On the other hand, when others say no to you, take them at their word. Because if you push in the circumstances, it's going to be asking for trouble. So you see them needing some rest after some type of struggle. They want solitude. They need to recover. Now you also see them... As a sun card. Now the sun card. The sun card is beautiful. It means that things are going well. Your finances are in great shape. But it doesn't mean that you should lose focus on what's truly important. And money is not very high on the list. For some of you Aquarius. I know for me it's high on the list. <laughs> okay. Um, it's a good time to socialize when you get the sun card, meet new people, get out and about. And if you're looking for a new job, this card it signifies it's right around the corner. It's, it's coming in. So you see them as, um, this person adds a lot of sunshine to your life. Bright and happy days with this person. Very much so. But it looks like 
um, you see them as disconnected from this connection. Or they feel a bit disconnected. You see them as, yeah, with this Four of Swords, uh, you can feel like they, they're ghosting you. That's how you see them. But just keep in mind, it's temporary with the Four of Swords. Yeah. But they, this person makes you happy. That's how you see them. They add sunshine to your life. Now, let's take a look at why it's happening. Due to the King of Swords and the Five of Wands. Now, the King of Swords, it's a very powerful, opinionated, forceful man. He will, but not always have hair on the darker end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. Also, you could be tempted to think only about how things affect you, personally. Especially when this card does not represent an actual person. So you might want to consider the feelings of others before you act. Like I said, this King of Swords is a very, very forceful energy. A lot of people, well, this card is known as the Narcissist card. So you may not be able to get a man in your life to change his mind or to do what you want. You may need to change something major about your behavior, thoughts, or expectations, but don't overextend your reach. So why it's happening, there's a very forceful energy that's needed. Or you could be dealing with, your person could be this way, or you could be this way. Yeah. And it's also with the Five of Wands, it refers to competition. Now it could be work. Or it could be romantic rivals. But don't be afraid of competing. Know that you have something to offer and can be successful. But you're going to have to try to see results. So when this card appears, you need to believe in yourself. It's going to have to be stronger than ever. So hold your head up high. Have faith that you'll end up in the place that's right for you. You could be thinking of making a career change with the Five of Wands. And just know that you'll be successful if you try so there are <sighs> there's a need to be forceful for why it's happening somebody needs to pull out their sword and probably I'm saying this because the five of wands is here romantic rivals and then we got this Seven of Cups here. A lot of options. And um, most people don't like other people in the mix. Usually women don't like other people in the mix. So I'm picking up there's other people in the mix. You got these people here. They're about to fight each other. Um, it's all about competing because there's other people in the mix. So it's a, there's a, some type of struggle for dominance here. And it causes your per, you and your person not to see eye to eye on occasions. Yeah, so let's recap this reading so that hopefully we can get the complete picture. So basically, for the present time... Um, it looks like Aquarius, you could be dealing with someone who has a lot of options. And it looks like they want to make you one of their options. Somebody could be coming back and wants you to join the party. Okay? Somebody wants to reunite. But, just keep in mind, there's competition. Now, they see you wanting a new beginning with them. So you obviously like this person a lot. You got a lot of passion for this person and they know it. They know you got a lot of passion for them. So this new beginning is not happening fast enough. That's how they see you. That's how they see you thinking. It's not happening fast enough, this new beginning. It could be long distance or... 
they could be dealing with their other options. Now you see them as needing to just sit down and chill, take a take a break. Um, because the Four of Swords, you could see them as needing to take a break, or you could just feel like they ghosted you. Yeah, you see them, but you see them as adding sunshine to your life. So it could be a day where, or maybe a few times, they, they just don't show up. Yeah, but they come back, though. The withdrawal or the ghosting is not permanent. They come back. Um, they're busy. They got options. So they might just need some rest. But they, but you see them as um, adding happy days to your life. Or they could see you like this. They might see you, even though it says you see them, you could see them as thinking they're very happy with you. You could add sunshine to their life. Because they see you as wanting a new beginning with them and uh, you got a lot of passion for them. It's not happening fast enough because it looks like they ran off and took a break or just ghosted you. Um, so it's causing for you to be forceful. You got to bring out your forceful energy or pull out a forceful energy, overstep your bounds. Um, because this person is bringing romantic rivals. It's causing a struggle for dominance in this connection for you. You have to fight just to fight all these other people just to be with this person. And it causes you to not to see eye to eye. So you find that being with this person or trying to get this new beginning a struggle it's a challenge and there's uh, there's a lot of obstacles they walk away sometimes but they they come back they need rest because they're dealing with a lot of options and it looks like you do want to celebrate with them maybe it's just a, a get together uh, but i'm not thinking so no let me take that back it's not a get together because um, you're very passionate about this person and you you got the new beginning here for how they see you so maybe it's um, I'm picking up it's a past person trying to come back but they're trying to bring all the other stuff they're trying to bring baggage and a bunch of other mess with them so you're thinking you gotta you gotta be the king of swords and um, be forceful about Having them cut out a lot of stuff that's going on. Yeah, it's going to take work to deal with this person. Because, like I said, at times they ghost you and you don't know if they're coming. You feel like you don't know if they're coming back. But it's it's uh, interesting because they know you got a lot of passion for them. A whole lot. There's nine wands here. And the wands are about passion. Passion, passion, passion. And they know it. So, sometimes this narcissistic energy, yeah, if, you, if you're forceful enough and you put in the energy and the, the hard work it takes to, to turn this person, to help turn this person around. They say you can't fix people, but... Maybe with time, this person will uh, cut out all the other people they got in the mix and all the other options. But right now, it's showing that uh, you need to be forceful with this person. Yeah. Pull out a really cold type energy. Maybe you want to try using your head over your heart. That's what the King of Swords does. He does that also. So, good luck, Aquarius, with this person. Like I said, it looks like somebody wants to reunite. Yeah. 
and you're happy about it. Well, I don't know if you're happy, but you got a lot of passion. Wow, it's heavy in this reading. So maybe they're um, passion. Maybe they're a good lover, and you're excited to see them. And you want a new beginning, though. So good luck. Sometimes things take work, and then they turn around for the better later. So I hope this resonates. Aquarius, as you know, this is a general reading and they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. Reading. Reading.